Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching Ease Coding. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can print Fibonacci sequence numbers in Ruby or how you can generate Fibonacci sequence for, for a given number or up to a given number in Ruby programming language. So let's get started. This is how it works. You can see. So I've given like six and it's going to print Fibonacci sequence up to six times. So I'm going to show you how you can achieve it in Ruby programming language. So I'm simply going to create a file which is going to be, let's say I'm going to say fibonacci.rb. So it's going to be very simple. So Fibonacci is like this. You would have these two numbers and you have to generate Fibonacci with these two numbers. So the formula is you basically take last two digits and you add it and put it on the as a next value. So it's going to be like 0, 1 equal to 1. This time you are going to add 1 and 1 which are last two digits. So 1 and 1 will become 2 this time. We will take 2 and 1 which will become 3 and this time we will take 3 and 2 which will become 5. Similarly you will have to repeat this uh, uh, kind of task. So you will take 2 last digit of this sequence or array and add it and append it. So this is what we are going to do. So to achieve it, we are going to create a function and I'm going to call it FIBA and it's going to take a number. So n argument and also if number is given less than 2, we do not want to do anything. We simply want to return everything like 0 and 1. So first of all, let's create an array and that's going to have 0 and 1. And so we are going to print 0, 1 if it's less than n is less than 2. So fq if n is or less than or, or equal to 2. Now, in case of n is greater than 2 we want to perform that task take last two number and then append it and then print out everything add it to it right so here we need to be uh, running this loop the number of times n number of times but we also need to deduct these two numbers so first we are going to do n minus 2 and then in Ruby we have times and we can simply end it. So what we want to do, we want to take the last two, two digits, uh, two values of the array and append it, add it and append it and keep doing until like times whatever the minus two times. So you simply say fq append append is going to take fq plus fq which is going to be last and second last so we'll take second last and then last so this is how you can access the second last in array and the last value in the array last and second last so that's done. Now you want to print everything out. So to print it, we are going to take fq each do, and then let's say I want to call it fqn, and then print qn also. Use this method to add like after every qn we want to add this comma and a space 
now so that's the method now we, we want to call this function I can say anything let's say 8 I'm going to open my command prompt in the same directory it is already there and now I can run FIBA FIBA and it should run 8 times you can see 358 so it's working perfectly fine so this is the code you can have look at once again it's very simple and if it's going to be like two times just two times it should return zero and one which is going to be puts uh, you can style it if you want to do the same same thing for if it's number like n is less than two or two so it's working perfectly fine guys thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel bye for now